Nostradamus is one of the most well-known seers in history, and he is thought to have predicted many major events our world has seen. But today we are talking about the royal family. How many of his prophecies came true, and what does he see for the future of our royal family today? Let's find out as we talk about the top 10 dark Nostradamus predictions for the royal family. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have Ruin. Of course, in recent years, the royal family has seen a change that really many didn't expect. When Harry and Meghan chose to renounce their royalty status, speculation began that this could be the beginning of the end for the monarchy. People only fueled their fire with this quatrain from Nostradamus, which reads, At the end of the war, the great powers change. Near the coast are born three beautiful children. They will ruin the town when they come of age. They will change the kingdom, and they will not see it grow anymore. Now, Harry is only one of two children, so I'm not sure if the quatrain was talking about him and his sibling, or if it has more to do with some other royal family members, but either way, there are some people who take Nostradamus' words very seriously, so maybe there really is something there. In our number 9 spot today, we have Revolution. So this is a quatrain that is said to have predicted basically the French Revolution. The phrase reads, From the enslaved populace, songs, chants, and demands. While princes and lords are held captive in prisons, these will in the future by headless idiots be received as divine prayers. Apparently, starting with the storming of Bastille in 1789, this quatrain predicted the overthrowing of the monarchy and the establishment of a new republic. The third estate took control of Paris and had their demands heard, but of course, especially in those times, things turned bloody. Both nobles and common people were being called traitors to the revolution and they met their fate at the guillotine. Remember that whole headless part in the quatrain? In our number 8 spot today, we have King Henry II. This is one quatrain that people believe was Nostradamus predicting the death of King Henry II, who was actually a personal acquaintance of the prophet himself. While at one point, Nostradamus was seen addressing King Henry II as the most invincible Henry, King of France, unfortunately, Henry proved to be quite vincible when he met his gruesome death at age 40. In the summer of 1559, a terrible jousting accident gone wrong left the king passing away shortly after from sepsis. This is a terrible story, but I told it because many think the Nostradamus actually predicted it. The jousting accident saw the king having splinters driven into his eye and skull by one of his young soldiers, and the Nostradamus quatrain reads, the young lion will overcome the older one. It says that he will pierce his eyes through a golden cage, and that two wounds will ensure a cruel death. So, I'm not saying he did, I'm just saying. It's a little unbelievable. In our number 7 spot today, we have the Great Fire. So for this Nostradamus prophecy, let's start out with the quatrain in question. It reads, The blood of the just will commit a fault at London, burnt through lightning of 23's the 6. The ancient lady will fall from her high place, several of the same sect will be killed. There are many people who believe that this quatrain was actually one that predicted the Great Fire of London that occurred in 1666. So basically, people think this so much in part because of the fact that if you take the line 23's the 6 and times 20 by 3 and then add 6, you get 66. It obviously mentions London and this fire was absolutely disastrous. I know this isn't necessarily a direct reference to the royal family, but this fire really did affect them. Also, it is said by many that the reference to the lady in this quatrain, as well as other quatrains, the lady is actually a term for the kingdom. This means that Nostradamus was predicting that the kingdom was going to fall as a result of the great fire. In our number 6 spot today, we have Charles I. It is said that Nostradamus was able to predict the death of Charles I, and he did this through a quatrain with very specific circumstances. It reads, Gainst Antwerp, Gant shall Brussels bring with it. The London Senate put to death their king. The salt and wine shall then against him be for them to have the realm in Anaroli. So the death of Charles is said to be the first time there was a death of a king in England that was because of a ruling from the Court of Justice and from Parliament. This is also after a time where there was a civil war in the Netherlands, which ended in a peace treaty, but that's what people are saying that the beginning is a reference to. It is also said that the salt and wine in the latter half is a reference to France. In our number 5 spot today, we have a bad leader. This is a quatrain that I'm not entirely sure who it's referencing, or perhaps it is more of a comment on a style of ruling in general rather than one particular ruler, but either way, it is a less than ideal prediction for the monarchy. It reads, In England, king shall under butcher truckle, a mean man force the realm to him to buckle. Faithless and lawless, he shall bleed the land, I sigh to think his time's so near at hand. It appears as though Nostradamus is 
predicting that soon after the death of a king, there will be someone taking over who is less than ideal. Whoever this ruler is, they are said to be overbearing and totalitarian-like. They don't care about the earth or the land, and they go against the rules that were already set out, and not even Nostradamus wants to deal with this guy. At the end, it seems like he's almost begrudgingly passing along this news. In our number 4 spot today we have the plague. One of the things Nostradamus was known for was treating people who were sick with the plague. Because of the times and the lack of medical knowledge, he actually had some tricks that were quite smart and that would provide some relief to a sick person even now. Of course, not to the level that modern medicine can, but we are talking about some really solid home remedies. This is all to say it's no surprise that the plague made it into some of his predictions. He wrote, The city port's great plague shall not be ended until the death of just blood be avenged, gateless condemned for gain upon pretense to the great lady he had done violence. People have taken this quatrain to mean that Nostradamus is predicting that the plague will continue to be around until the great lady, meaning the kingdom, is avenged. In our number 3 spot today we have King James Downfall. This is said to be a quatrain that predicted the downfall and exile and succession of King James. The quatrain reads, 30 of London's gainst their king devise, on him about the bridge of enterprise. His guards for his death do with displeasure mourn, elected king a Dutch man fair haired born. So basically, King James was removed from the throne because at the time people were upset at him, which is what the beginning refers to. The bridge mentioned in the quatrain is said to be a reference to him being exiled and sent away, but of course he would later come back to try and regain the throne. In the end, however, his successor would go on to be William III, who had a co monarchy with Mary II. This is said to be mentioned in the last line. Although William was not fair haired, he was Dutch born. In our number 2 spot today we have Mary II. This is a quatrain that definitely ties into the last and it is said to show the prediction that Mary II would come into power with her husband. The quatrain reads, The eldest sister of the British throne, 15 years older than her mother's son, on promised terms fully unto agreed, unto the balanced kingdom shall succeed. Mary was the eldest daughter of England. It is said that she was born 15 years before a brother, but at the end of the day all of her mother's children other than Mary and her sister passed away, so that is a little difficult to confirm. She succeeded as a sovereign queen, I mean, it really all does make sense that this quatrain would be referencing this co-monarchy. In our number one spot today we have The End. To tie this whole thing together, we have a grim prediction that is said to come from Nostradamus in relation to the queen. It is said that Nostradamus said that the queen would be overwhelmed with old family problems. And it is also said that Nostradamus predicted that the monarchy will end with her. This could potentially be true based on recent events, like I mentioned previously with Harry and Meghan renouncing their royalty, and when we look at who's next in the succession line, it doesn't exactly give us all high hopes for the future of the monarchy that we would like to see. Perhaps if Prince William were to take over, England may move to a republic for the second time in its history, but that truly didn't work out so well for everyone involved. At this point, I am not the seer that Nostradamus was, and he is long gone, so it's looking like only time will tell what's up next. Alright guys, that has been our list for today, thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Who is, oh my God, I almost choked.